Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Uh, today we got a review of the live action Tokyo Ghoul movie. Um, if you've never heard of Tokyo Ghoul, um, it's based on a anime and manga. This is the live action version of it. So, what I'm going to do with this review is I'm going to essentially do it almost like a two, two stage review. I'm going to review it one for its merits like as a movie for someone who's never seen the anime or the manga know nothing about it and then a secondary part if you will for existing fans so the basic plot is in Japan uh, it may be all over the world it never actually says in the movie but you know um, you have these creatures called ghouls they look like people but they eat people that's all, all they can eat. They eat human food, makes them sick. It's it's no good for them. So, you have your main character, called Kaneki. He ends up going on a date with this girl, who turns out to be a ghoul, and whose main plan, she's going to eat him. It doesn't work out that way. She ends up getting killed. He ends up getting seriously injured, and... A doctor ends up transplanting some of her organs into him. So as a result, you end up with Kaneki as a half-ghoul. So, it's got kind of like the moral dilemma there. Like, he, he's got to eat people, right? But, you know, he doesn't want to, like, kill people and eat them or anything. So it's kind of interesting that way. Um, that's all I'm going to go in for for the plot. You know, uh, I don't want to go into spoilers or anything, but... Yeah, that's just the basics. So, as a movie, anime adaptations, well, live-action anime adaptations are notoriously hit or miss. Um, there are very few really good ones. I have to say, I feel this was a pretty good one. Uh, the acting was pretty damn good. I mean, uh, I watched it in Japanese, so, you know, I can only judge it s so much, but nothing really took me out of it that way. Uh, the characters looked like their anime and manga counterparts. Um, the effects were actually pretty good as well, which is, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a change for anime ad adaptations. Um... There's a lot of CG in it, just because that's, like, the nature of the beast. But, um, what I found worked was the CG was, it was, pre it was pretty good. I mean, it, you could tell it was CG by looking, obviously, but, how can I describe this? Almost like the unreality of what they were showing, mixed with the CG, just kind kind of work together it, it made it look like believably fake if if that if that kind of makes any sense you know it since it wasn't something like you'd physically normally see you know the kind of jarringness of the cg worked to its advantage if that makes sense i, I hope it made sense yeah so so there's that. Uh, all in all, it was it was pretty solid. I got to admit, you know, it's a uh, hundred and twenty minutes, so it's a two hour flick, um, and they managed to cover pretty much like the entire first arc of the anime and manga, and um, it did it quite well, honestly. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna first review this this part here. As for people, if you already know the anime, you know the manga, you know the source material, you might feel a bit... I don't want to say screwed over or anything, but obviously they've taken, like, you know, you know, like 13 or 16 episodes or something and truncated it down into a two-hour movie. So, it does seem kind of rushed. You know, like, sufficient to say he gets pretty much killed within the first ten minutes, you know? So, you know, it, it's, it, it, it does feel rushed. 
you know, if you're a fan of the original stuff, you know what's coming up. That that's what that's what that's how it feels, you know. So that's a bit of a downfall. But what I'd say this movie is really good for is for people who are interested in the Tokyo Ghoul property but haven't watched the anime or haven't read the manga or anything, sort of just getting into it, it's a really good um, introduction. That's what I would say. You know, it, you definitely get a feel for these characters, you get a feel for the world they're in, but it's not fully fleshed out enough, like... You know, you watch the anime and you feel like this is the world, these are the characters, these are the interactions between them. You know, you get it all. This, it's it's kind of glossed over because it's only a two-hour movie, obviously. But it's a good introduction. So that's what I feel. If you're someone interested, you know, in the license and, like, the property and everything, honestly, I'd maybe even start with this before anything else. Uh, I think that would work kind of well. I saw the anime and the manga beforehand, you know, so um, I already knew what was coming. So, you know, for us, there's a, like I said, there's a bit of compression that you feel. But all in all, it was a pretty damn good flick, I got to admit. Uh, for a rating, I have to give this an 8 out of 10. It's not a perfect anime adaptation there are very few perfect anime adaptations but it hits all the notes that it should and those that it misses are like not i don't want to say not important but they're like they're easily looked over and you're like you don't really miss it honestly so yeah eight out of ten honestly a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And, uh, pretty damn fun flick, honestly. And, just for a thing, um, the levels of gore were quite good. You know, I, I just love this on the, on the on the description on the back here. It just says, this is, this is the line on the back here. Riddled with gripping fight scenes and tasteful gore. You know, because, you know, we, we like our gore tasteful. You know, when a head goes flying off, we want it to be tastefully done. Not, not, you know. <laughs> all in all, though, good flick. Um, if you're a fan of the series, you definitely want to want to pick it up. Uh, if it slightly interests you, give it a shot. It's actually pretty good. So yeah, 8 out of 10, Tokyo Ghoul. Good stuff. Uh, I'll try to leave a trailer below. Also, my uh, Patreon and... Uh, Merch shop links are down there if you want to support the channel. Be greatly appreciated. Um, well, yeah, so that's it for now. See you next time.